I was a skeptic of this feature, but after spending about four hours in DaVinci Resolve tinkering with it, I am now kind of a fan of the AI audio transcription feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio. So welcome back to Creator Reality. Today we're taking a deep dive into that feature. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you some of the caveats. I'm going to show you how to work around those caveats. And in the end, I'm going to show you what I think is its best use. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we have some footage. I recorded myself washing my motorbike. Doesn't everybody do something like that to get B-roll for a test for DaVinci Resolve? No, just me? Okay, well, moving on. I've got about 26 minutes, what is it? Yeah, 30 minutes almost of footage of me doing this thing, right? And if I alt mouse wheel to zoom in, you can see there's a lot of blank space. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just quickly get rid of all that blank space? That's where the audio transcription feature comes in handy. So I've got a bunch of timelines here. You can see what they are, but let's dive in and start using it. You can start by right-clicking on your footage or right-clicking on your timeline. But in this case, I'm just going to right-click on our footage. And you could do this before you've put the footage into the timeline. I just put it in there and did my base color grade first to get that out of the way so I wouldn't have to apply it to a bunch of clips. But we have this AI tools menu, and then we have audio transcription, and then transcribe. And you can import from subtitles or use speaker detection, or you can clear the transcription, which is what I've done prior to this video. So hopefully this works. Transcribe, it's gonna initialize, and then it's gonna go through the footage, and it's gonna pick out what words everybody is saying, and it's gonna detect bird noises, car noises, grunting in my case, and apologies in advance if you see it later, there's one curse word that I said during there because it was a joke that I can bleep out for the final video. Hopefully my editor will uh, be able to cut that out of this video. Now that it's done, we have all of this text and timestamps, and it left us towards the bottom, but we can scroll all the way to the top, and you'll see all these ellipses in parentheses, and that's all blank space, and everything's selected. That's why it has the teal color behind it. You can use this button to remove silences, and this these two buttons to change the font size. Up here in the right-hand corner, we have speaker detection. We can display the speakers, remove the silent portions, export our subtitles, import subtitles, and reset speaker data. We can pretty much ignore most of this stuff, but I want you to pay attention up here. This is our clip, but then if we click here, this is our timeline. So this is everything that's in the timeline, and if you see right here where this red uh, triangle is and the word is kind of highlighted, that is right there in our timeline. If I move this up a little bit, you can see this is w exactly where our playhead is. And since I'm in the timeline, I'm going to leave it in this timeline mode and not go back to clip mode. You could run the AI audio transcription on just the clip, and then you could use the clip side of this screen to insert the transcribed clip minus whatever you cut out into a timeline. So if I go back there real quick, you'll see we have our buttons here. This one's gonna place on top, this one inserts, and that one appends. I would just put your playhead wherever you want it to start and click the insert button. But moving back to timeline, everything's right here and we're set up to go. So I could literally just come in here and click this button and then wait a second, click close, and now we're done. Look at this, it's all cut down and we've got a length of about 16 minutes, right? Well. That's all well and good, but let me show you the biggest problem that I faced with audio uh, transcription. So if I zoom into any random clip, you'll see that it clips literally in the middle of a word. If I scroll over here, you'll find a better one right there. So in this case, we could hold Alt-Y, select everything forward, move our clip forward, extend the previous clip to the end of the word, and then extend this one back a little bit, and now you can hear, if I played this back, you could hear the end of the syllables because what happens quite often, and this is one of those reviewer things, user experience things that I read and saw everywhere was the AI audio transcription tool will cut off the ends or the starts of syllables. It's just nature of the beast. They keep working on it. It has gotten better according to the people on Reddit from 18.6 or whenever it was first introduced until 20.0.1, which is what I'm on. Now, there is a quicker fix to that 
And then I'm going to dive into a little bit of comparison between some editing methods. So if I control Z three times to get back to here, instead of this tool here, which is our selection mode or A, keep that in your hat, we can press T or go to trim edit mode. And then if you get this icon right here, we can drag forward and you'll notice that everything on this side of the playhead gets moved. And we can now see that the last syllable of the last word is visible and thus will be audible. Now, if I get that same icon facing the left on the right hand side of the playhead, we can drag back and get our syllables back. And the playhead doesn't even have to be there. If I control Z twice, move my playhead over here, I can drag this forward, drag this back. And what it's doing is it's extending this clip and it's going to push everything past here out. You'll notice that we end with our syllable here and there's not much missing there, right? It didn't move the clip out and overwrite the clip after it. It just lengthened that clip and pushed everything at the end of the timeline. Or from your perspective, everything at the timeline end, it pushed it all out. So if you're playing back your footage after you've used the AI audio transcription, you can really easily come in here with the trim edit mode and boom, 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 push those clips out and get the starts and ends of your syllables back into play in your talking head video. That's pretty handy. So now let's go through and I'll show you a comparison of what I edited and what AI audio transcription edited. And then I'm going to go into a little bit of a secret sauce of kind of a best case scenario and how you can better utilize this tool to actually save time while editing. So this timeline is one that AI audio transcription did for me. And then I went back into it and I went through the process like I showed you earlier with the trim edit mode to lengthen the video clips a little bit. And I've got some photos overlaying here and I've moved the sound around a little bit and I've kind of tinkered with it a little bit. And it took me about an hour to get to this point. Now, if I click on the end here, it's 12 minutes and 54 seconds long. So it's cutting out a lot of that blank space, right? Let's take a look at the one that I hand edited. And I started with the raw footage of this clip that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And I just went through, played it through and used control B to break and then control B to break again and then clicked on the clip and hit delete. Not the world's most efficient way of editing but it did take me about the same time as AI audio transcription. And what we're left with is virtually identical. It's four seconds longer. I copied the photos over and I made a lot of the same changes. I did it on two separate days so that I would sort of forget how I did it the first time when AI audio transcription helped me, but I really wanted to get the feel of the story there. Not that there was much of a story, but I wanted to get a feel for the edit and how that would play out and see if AI audio transcription was going to save me time or if it was just a waste of time. Now, for this shh, don't tell anyone timeline, this is where the time savings happened. So what I did was I right clicked on my raw footage, came down to AI tools, audio transcription, transcribe. It saved it from before. You only have to do it once. And I came all the way up to the top and I was deleting things. So I would select, like if I double click here, there we go. I can delete this and you see it gets a strike through. Well, control Z to undo that. I just want to get this thing at the top. So I will click and select. And this part can be a little bit weird, but if you have lines like this, I can delete those. I can delete the car engine. Uh, I didn't finish my intro. I didn't finish my intro there. I didn't finish my intro there or there. And it actually comes down to right there. So I'm going to, that one's deleted. I'm going to delete this one and this one. And then we can actually go through and you can pretty quickly read through here and be like, nope, I don't want that. And you're literally just scrolling through, deleting the blank space and then any kind of flubbed lines you might have. So you don't have to do this on a talking head video. You could do it on something like a vlog and it might even save you time. So it took about an hour to do the AI audio transcription route and the hand editing route. And it took me less than 40 minutes to edit this version of it because I had already cut out 
a bunch of the blank space and a bunch of the flub lines just by reading through them rather than having to play back through them. So in the in my case, I think I'm a fast reader, so I think that really helped me. You be the judge of whether or not that will save you time. If you do think it'll save you time, drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear if anybody else has tried this feature and what your thoughts on it are. Thanks in advance. And then when I was done, I just clicked on the insert button and this is what I got. And at the end of it, it's 1352. So it's a whole minute longer. There is more cutting to be done there perhaps, or we could just run it as is. Obviously you're gonna wanna go through and make sure that your syllables are lined up, but literally that 40 minutes includes doing all that because it only took me five or six minutes to read through everything and then do the insertion. And then it was just beep, 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 beep fix it, and we're done. Now, one last thing I want to show you before we leave, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody show this off for AI audio transcription, and that is, but John, what if I'm doing a talking head with screen recording and I've got two clips to cut down? I got you. I got you, okay? I got you. So we're going to go to multiple layers timeline, and you can see that we have two layers. Now, You'll notice because I click on one of these and the other one's not selected that they're not linked to each other, to each other. You'll notice that if I click on this motorcycle washing footage, it's linked to the audio down here, but in here in the video one, it's not linked to the motorcycle footage. So to accomplish this, let's blow this away. And now that our timeline is clear, we'll drag on the raw footage and we'll go to B-roll and we'll get that uh, screen recording footage. And I'm just gonna, for, for simplicity, we're gonna break there, get rid of that. Now we've got our two clips lined up. We know we're not gonna need the audio for that. So I will alt select the audio and press D to disable it. And now I can come back in here and we're on multiple layers and I can right click and come into AI tools, audio transcription, transcribe. It's going to initialize, it's going to run through the process. And now that it's done, it's brought up this screen right here. And I'm going to click on remove silences and close. And there you go. We have just the footage that we need. And obviously if I alt mouse wheel to zoom in, you'll see that it's doing a little bit of that cutting. And if we grab this and drag it out, it's not going to help with the, um, with the screen recording, but it is helping with the other things. So we can press the A key and stretch these back out if need be. Not a bad way to go. Now, if I select all these clips and link them together and then come up to multiple layers, AI tools, audio transcription, transcribe, it keeps our transcription. We click remove silences. We click close. We'll come into the same clip here. Where's a little cutoff there? There's a cutoff right there, right? We can get this one and we'll get our trim edit mode. Now you'll see that it does this. So in this case, it is beneficial to link them together before you do the AI audio transcription if you're going to fix the syllables like I would do myself. So that's it. That's AI audio transcription in a nutshell. It is a big nutshell. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I do appreciate your time today. If you have any questions, are you gonna use it? Have you used it? All three of those things in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Please boop the like button. And since you watched so far, why don't you subscribe or you can click on this video that YouTube thinks you'll like to watch next. John out.